Mr. Speaker, as the congressman who represents Muncie, Indiana, and Delaware County, I rise today for the awesome and important duty to pay a happy birthday wish to Garfield. This was 15 years ago on Garfield's 25th birthday. Today, as he turns 40, Mike Pence is vice president of the country. The guy from NBC's The Apprentice is somehow president. And Garfield is exactly the same. His face may have adorned many more T-shirts, coffee mugs, posters, and insurance billboards in the interceding years. But to read the strip that Jim Davis still writes every day, or to visit the Paws Incorporated compound on the outskirts of Muncie, Indiana, you'd be hard-pressed to tell whether it's 2018 or, let's say, 1989. We moved in in 1989, I think it was. Oh my god. This is where we meet with all of the licensees. We work visually. All of our walls are <laughs> bulletin boards. And when we have uh, agents come in from other countries, we could talk all day but never see the same thing, but they can go to a shelf, pick a product up, oh, yeah. and do, say, do this in green, and we can sell this. You know. This is the art department back here. We took the comic strip digital about eight years ago. Do you happen to know how many papers it's syndicated in right now? A little over 2,100 papers now. Jeez. We're in 111 countries, about 28 languages. All the mail comes in the big door over there, and it all gets sorted out. We take a look at the products that come in and approve them or not approve them. And How often do you have to reject something? We Every day, we <laughs> reject something. <laughs> Not only is Garfield one of the most widely printed comics in history, he's also arguably the most widely licensed and merchandised orange cat of all time. In order to keep track of the nearly $1 billion a year of tchotchkes adorned by Garfield and, to a significantly lesser extent, Odie, Paws Incorporated's resident young person, Derek Hall, helped develop a searchable digital archive called Picker. Can I try searching or something? Thank you. A toothbrush. There we go. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, for Darlie Toothpaste. You know that used to be called Darky Toothpaste? Garfield's cultural penetration has approached that of the Buddha or the Bible, although I don't recall Jesus Christ appearing on any Chinese toothpastes. To maintain that level of worldwide appeal, Davis and his team have followed one golden rule, no politics. I'd always wondered if uh, the fact that Garfield had kind of managed to avoid being controversial, if that was for fear of the consequences marketing, or if that was tied into just your artistic vision. Well, there are two problems with uh, doing something, a political comment, social comment, something like that. Uh, one, it doesn't translate. Right. People in other countries wouldn't understand it, or in other cultures, or at other times. Two, uh, it dates the strip, you know, like, Okay, that was 1983. That I'd like to think that 40 years from now, they could read the gag and laugh for the very same reason and just as heartily as they do today. In my opinion, I wouldn't, at least with Garfield, wouldn't say the merchandise had in any way sullied my impression of it. Do you feel a sense of that or? I uh, told folks, I said, if we get into it, we're not going to let people just use an image and stamp it on stuff. If we get into it, we're going to be involved with it. We'll help drive it. Do you see some of the merchandise as works of art? Early on, I always felt that Garfield says things that people feel, but they don't necessarily have the courage to say, but they'll have it on a coffee mug. I'd like mornings better if they started later. Things like that, they go, oh, that cat, look at him, he hates mornings. <laughs> yeah. Kind of look for things that resonates with people that, that they can use to express themselves. The work of art, no, I think hopefully it's uh, well designed, <laughs> colorful, and it's spelled correctly. <laughs> Do you think that Garfield will ultimately be remembered as a comic strip that produced um, many items? Or as kind of like a. Do you think he could ever be mistaken for a deity, I guess? Gar Garfield, after 40 years, is. Yeah, he's attained a bit of an iconic status. There have been movies, there have been books, there have been other things. And I certainly want him to be known as a comic strip because that's, that's where he really entertains. He really struts his stuff. That's his sweet spot. 